I think the discourse of architecture is already going through a change. Right. Uh, we are not, no longer just designing buildings with column and ceiling. We are yeah. designing way more. We're designing experiences. We're yeah. designing products. We're designing fashion items. So I think architecture as a discipline is already changing. Sure. So the more schools and institutes, including YAC, which are open to these new possibilities, I think it's, a, it's very exciting. YAC is definitely one of the inspiration um, in Europe. I think uh, what's happening here, both in terms of like robotic interaction, I think it's really fascinating. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just hands full of schools that uh, you can see there in Europe or US that they're doing um, such experimental mm -hmm. work and cutting edge and trying to really look at beyond what the discourse of architecture can be. And I think um, this is uh, absolutely exciting to see. Do you think this idea of uh, augmented empathy through technology or even augmented senses, do you think that your work addresses this augmentation of our senses, of our abilities? I think the bottom line is that how we can look at technology as a medium that we can uh, create empathy and how we can connect to one another in different ways that we haven't thought about. Um, and I think a lot of those technology either they already exist, mm -hmm. but we have to repurpose them in a different context. Um, so when you do that, you started kind of thinking and, and teasing out some of the information about uh, how we can uh, create. And I think it's something that I personally haven't fully developed yet. Mm. And I think it's something that um, uh, it's still ongoing and still teasing out what does it mean uh, for designers to think about the notion of emotional computing. Um, it's certainly something that a lot of uh, like researchers in computer science and, and, and AI, they, they're looking at. So I think it's really up to us to kind of start looking at these notions and bring it to, the, to design. With all these uh, advances, um, do you feel educational institutions are doing a good job to keep up with the pace of, of technological development? Um, do you feel that the concept of the institution has been able to change enough to adapt to the demand for this kind of knowledge? I think um, it's going in an interesting direction. There is a number of things happening in the last few years. Uh, one is that a lot of institutes, they open up their doors uh, for industries. So for yeah. instance, uh, in uh, my department in media arts at USC, we have a lot of industry funded projects coming from various industries, including Autodesk or, or Google, Intel. They bring questions, or a steel case company, they bring questions and a sponsor basically questions project. And, and um, between almost the lab setup, we explore what would be then an answer to that question. So I think there is this overall change in academic environment, which they open up their doors for industry, which is very, very exciting. And on the other hand, certain industries, they're opening up their doors to either a sponsor or bring creative people, uh, such as uh, Pier 9 in Autodesk um, and the residency program to bring artists from all around the world, um, either they're academic or they're completely industry people, but they're creative people that they're mm -hmm. they want to produce new works. Yeah. Uh, they need that support system in order to produce those t type of vision. So it's been a, I think, very interesting journey in the last few years. I observed uh, how both industry and academic are changing and almost like blending into one another. Yeah. And I think that um, that blend is gonna is gonna be very exciting uh, for basically future of scholars or practitioners.